What you guys got another video here for you the good old tech support scam this has been around for quite a while now and it must be uh, very successful for them because they continue to use it today and they can generate a lot of money from these tech support scams and uh, what I want to talk about today is how they get on the PC or some of the ways they can get on the PC and how you can avoid these types of things. Now you can see this one looks pretty realistic. You've got a pop-up box here that gives you a load of information about what's happening with your computer. It says your computer has been blocked. There will be some voice in the background telling you that you're infected and all of this scaremongering stuff to get you to call the number on the screen. This is how they work. Now, unfortunately, lots of people don't understand how these work. And of course they will think they're infected and end up ringing that number on the screen now on the other end you'll have either some um, tech support scammer from india or some other place around the world but mainly they reside in india and uh, what they can do is they are very calm and they are very patient and they can sit there for ages trying to convince you that you are infected and you need to let them to remote into your pc once they get remote access to your computer, that's when they can start working on you and showing you that you are infected. And I'll show you that a little bit later on. But you can see here, to close this off, you can push Control, Delete and End Task and it will close the window down. Unfortunately, some browsers, when you open them again, it will repopulate. So you might want to restart your PC and uh, clear out all your temporary internet files and run malware bytes just to make sure you don't have anything on the system. You can see that this file was dropped as well, which is not uh, very common, but it has happened in this case where we've got adware on the system. In some cases, you may get a full screen like this where it blocks out the whole of your computer and you can't now get access to it until you close it off. Now, this can be quite daunting for a lot of people, but using the Control Alt Delete key on the keyboard and then ending the task of your browser will close the browser down and allow you to get access to your computer again. So how do these actual scams get on your PC and into your browser? That's what we're going to take a look at. One way that these actual uh, scammers manage to get these into your browser. Now these people are confidence tricksters. What they do is they will build up your confidence and they will then trick you into giving them money. You will start to feel like they know what they're doing and they are legit and genuine and they've practiced this many 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 times and what that means is you start to uh, literally believe what they're actually telling you and eventually some people do actually give over their bank details and end up paying uh, for a service that they didn't even need and they've ended up being scammed and once they scam you once they will continue to try and scam you again and again so be very very careful with these types of people you never know what they're installing on your system as well. Now these scammers also have a malicious nasty side to them that if you start to find out that they are uh, scamming you they will start to delete data on the computer and this is another nasty thing that they will do just to get their own back on you. So let's close this off and take a look at how they manage to get these onto the browser. Now there's quite a few ways they do this and normally it's people that are downloading uh, pirated software uh, crack software and stuff like that cracks and they were going to dodgy sites and they will be laced with dodgy links on those sites and sometimes they come bundled in ad advert packages you know dodgy malicious advert packages and they will put them in there and if you keep clicking the refresh button they will pop up again this is on YouTube even and this person has got a popular topic which is a fix and basically loads of people are searching for it. He supplies the links in the video description. Of course, when you click on it, it comes to this website here and they can make quite a bit of money from these because these are quite an aggressive advert campaign here and they will normally have them bundled in there. Now, it's a bit of a lottery what you get. So when you get on here, you can see it's already downloaded some adware in the background. You can see that's already downloaded. And when you refresh the page, it will keep giving you different advert pages as you can see here is another one and they get quite a bit of money from these now eventually what will happen is there will be some sort of malicious page that will pop up and these come bundled with a tons of pages and again when you're going to these sort of sites these could be topic sites 
like uh, tutorials and things like that there's one here flash player might be out of date and you can see it's now asking me to update and if I did this of course what it will do is it will put adware and other nasty uh, stuff on the computer you can see it has been embedded with a ton of uh, adverts and there you go it's now dropped that straight onto the system and that's what it does now the download link up the top is with a file that he was offering and again there is no file that you're going to get you're just going to get this type of thing so he's obviously put the link in his video description for you to click on it to get the file that uh, will fix a problem which is quite a common problem and again it's going to end up leading you to something like this and if you're not very familiar with this type of thing then you could fall foul to it now remember that video had 24,000 views which means it's quite a popular video and it this is the actual file that he's offering you don't actually get the file at all what you do get is adware downloaded and if you try to click on the download button now it's just a green jpeg they've took an actual screenshot of the page of of that page there and basically mediafire uh, is a place where you can upload files and of course there's more stuff happening now on the screen as you can see here so this is how they work they basically pick topics which are very very popular and people are looking and searching for those particular fixes and again what will happen is you would end up going there and clicking on those links and it will end up with something like this now the shrink urn website is basically a free tool that you can use to create short links but you can earn money from those short links and they're not very uh, nice short links to be honest you can see it's trying to drop a file down onto the system saying your file is ready and if you click on run now you're going to end up getting infected because it is not a nice file it's probably adware or some sort of malware or something like that now once you carry on with this authorization part here it will then give you uh, that nasty microsoft support uh, scam you can see here there you go and that's how it works so these types of sites you want to steer clear of them any sort of short link sites be very very careful which ones you click on because you never know where they're leading and it could end up redirecting you to something like that and if you're not familiar with that sort of stuff you could end up getting scammed so these are the things that you need to watch out for when you're surfing the web and looking for certain files let me just upload that file and see what type of file that it was trying to get me to click on so the file that you're getting here is not the file that he was telling you about it's an actual adware file so let's take a look at some of the dirty tricks that they will use to try and convince you that you're infected and that you need to buy their support so they'll go open up event viewer and they will go straight into this location here and of course what you're going to see is a load of warning signs and what they will do is they will show you all of these and say that these are all warnings you're getting remote connection you're getting malware or viruses and then they will click on uh, the level area there and you will then get a load of errors and they will say the system has got loads of errors on it and uh, we can fix all this for you and they would just clear the errors so that's all they would do they'll just you know clear all these errors and then they will disappear and then convince you that they've uh, fixed the problems and that's basically what they do so that's one way they go about doing it they normally open up the command prompt as well and this is another tactic that they will use is to try and convince you they'll go cmd open up command prompt and then they will start posting in commands i'll show you a couple here which they will use uh, they do others as well but i'm not going to show you all of them but you'll get the general idea they'll do netstat space dash s space dash p and then space tcp and what will happen is you'll start seeing active opens and all this sort of nonsense coming up on the screen saying establish you've got connections established to you these are malware these are related malware sites that are connected to your computer and uh, they are you know spying on you and stuff like this to try and convince you another thing they will do is they will open up command prompt and they use the tree command so they will open up the command prompt here and then they take it back to the c root directory so they go c dot dot and then c dot dot and then go back to the c root directory and type tree when they type tree you're just going to get a load of stuff coming up on the screen let's say i'm just running a scan on your computer and uh we'll see and this is what they do it's just trying to con you into 
doing something and of course people haven't seen any of this before because they probably have never been in command prompt before so when they see something like that they think they're doing something genuine and all they're doing is listing the directories in the computer and once they've got you fully locked in what they will do is they will open up notepad and they will start to give you a bunch of other stuff like this network security virus protection browser security email protection norton security identity security and banking security and they will give you a number for 24 hour support and all the sort of nonsense and then they will give you a bill and sometimes they do a yearly plan two yearly plan or three yearly plan or just a one-off and they just keep continually working you until they get you to go to a site where they'll get you to put in your bank details and get you to make a payment this is going to go directly straight to them and you will be scammed and this is what it's like uh, to get scammed by one of those tech support scammers so if you're going on the internet and you're looking for uh, sites like that or you're looking for certain stuff on the internet and you come across something like that then don't uh, panic just close the PC down and then uh, reboot the PC up and then you should be pretty much good to go because they're not viruses as long as you're not clicking on any installation files to install you shouldn't be infected but you can always scan your PC with malware bytes or other programs of the like. Anyway, hope this information has been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Stay safe out there, guys. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.